then we're not, who are you? I am you, but a better version of you from an earth that doesn't have Comic-Con. So I'm replacing you and taking your ticket and going to Comic-Con Africa. Tata wena! Hola. See you at Comic-Con. Comic-Con 2019, the not-so-final frontier. These are the voyages of the interdimensional interloper. His four-day mission to explore a strange new world. And finally, we are here, Earth 26618, the only Earth with a Comic-Con Africa. After so much sacrifices and dance, it's time for me to enjoy. What's up, Mojak Loco? We're at another Comic Con. I was here last year. Things were a little bit different. I was wearing an outfit that I normally only wear to the shops, and I decided to bring it out for a special occasion. I was the Ranger, the blue one. Have a look. It got a little bit weird, I'm not gonna lie. We follow local comedian Mojak Loco around Comic Con as a sexy Power Ranger. I was a girl. I'm gonna have the sexy Ranger. I'm gonna put. It's morphine time. Yeah. But look at us. We've leveled up. In fact, this year we've got some special guests. This guy, you might know him. He was on a small show called Star Trek. It's the wonderful William Shatner. Oh! People of planet Earth 26618, do you know the great leader, the great messiah? who took us from planets to planets to far, far beyond. William Shatner, do you know him? Do you, sir, know William Shatner? I do, I do know him. I yes, know. preach, preach. Where was he born? Come here, sir, looking like you about to be something, something. Do you know of William Shatner? Yes. Do you know of his greatness? He is the greatest actor in sci-fi history. Do you know where he was born? Uh, that I do not know. You are sell out! I don't know if you people know about the great William Shatner. No. Do you know William Shatner? I don't, I don't. You don't? Keep walking. You disappointed me from your planet. You let down your people. Do you know William Shatner? William Shatner is an actor. He played he play James Kirk in the original Star Trek series. He also played Danny Crane in the Boston Legal series. Now you are a man of great quality. Thank you are a man of standards. But just to test you out, where is he from? Where was his hometown? Where was he born? Born in Canada, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Calgary. The pointing game. This is how the people of this earth decide who gets the last piece of toast. We have a winner. In our Earth, we take our cosplays very seriously. We pay a lot of Ramaposas. But in this Earth, 266-118. Wrong dimension. It's 26618, guy. Get it right. I want to find out how many Mandalas they pay for their cost. Come here, sis. So how much does the face cost? The face? Well, this face, uh, I think it's about 6280. And this belt? Belt. This belt cost me about 100 Mandalas. 100 Mandalas. So, so far we're looking at 460 Mandalas? Yeah. Next. Oh, it's me. Who's next? It's me. Who is next? I'd say my outfit overall is about 800 Rand and hers is about 1,000 Rand with latex and makeup and stuff. The bikini was 300 and then the material was 250 with all the trimmings and it took me about a day to put it all together. Best got it from a costume store. 
add it all together. It wasn't wasn't as much as what I've seen other people have put into it, but yeah, it was it was around about a thousand. So this would cost three hundred rand for hiring. Well, believe it or not, this is actually the only thing I rented. The rest I made on my own, did my own sewing. The sandals are uh, actually inherited from my great grandfather, and this I just borrowed from my um, from my aunt's ballet school. You know, in every universe, Game of Thrones has a different ending. But in this universe, it ended horribly. I mean, look at that boy. Look at him. We are Kala Shelewan. I mean, I have powers. I can fix it. Just for this universe, I will fix it. Let's go fix this. So winter came and winter left us, Jon Snow. And that last episode, we want to know from you, how do you feel? No, it was a big mistake. Hey? Uh, I was so in love with Danny to, to save the kingdom. It, it was for the kingdom. So I was thinking with my head, not my heart. The mother of dragons, so-so. But who goes a bit cuckoo because of the bells. Tell us yeah. about these bells and why did they make you go crazy? Um, I don't actually know why she went crazy. She's just, uh, I think it was just a twist, just to have a twist in the series, but I don't really know why she actually went crazy. Well, I have beautiful superpowers. Yeah. And I believe that I need to put them to the test and at use. Okay. Let's go fix that ending. Okay, let's go. Let's go back let's go. to winter. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> You'll always be my queen. You know, I feel bad for burning down the city. Maybe I wouldn't have made her such a great queen after all. So let's go on a family vacation. Let's go make some babies. <laughs> you. Solved. You understand? We fixed it. Thank you. You gotta get Shrifty! You gotta get Shrifty in here! Yeah! We asked our favorite celebs to try some uniquely South African snacks. I'll go first. I don't care. I ain't scared. Do, 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 do. This looks like uh, uh, jerky. That looks like a. That's probably an earlobe for something that was once alive. Oh, that's a great snack. Mmm. I think I've had enough. So. You defend yourself in the wild if you take it with you in the bush. Just to breathe out loud, breathe out, and nobody will come near you, including the animals. Really, we're going to something sweet now? Savory sweet, come on. All right. It's a little chocolate thing. How bad could it be? That's, that's, well, that's quite lovely, isn't it? Mm. That's really good. It takes away the taste of everything else. So you need one of these. Put those in my bag. This is very dry bread. I don't think you can break it. Let us break bread. Let us break bread. Let us break your skull with this right. bread. This is all camping food, by the way. <laughs> Nobody would dare serve this anywhere. Oh, my God. Mm. You eat that, and the crumbs leave a trail. So if you get lost, they just follow the crumbs. I tasted air and disappointment. It's like a giant Captain Crunch. This thing's cutting my mouth. And we have this. So it's called a fat cook. A what? It's a what? Fat cook. What'd you call me? You got a fat cook. Now that's very tasty. It's like a plunge pool. Red uh, rum. Red rum. Mm. Not quite my taste, but it's very tasty. Now on the stage, we call these sliders. It's like someone heard of the concept of a hamburger. Oh, an Indian had a hand in this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the curry. That's a curry slider. Mm -hmm. This is chomp. When you have to um, put instructions also as the title, chomp. It's like, it, here's a, the, its brother candy bar is eat. And then there's swallow. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. It feels like I just bit into the leg of an angel. This is good stuff, because it doesn't go bad. 
because it's already bad. After the break, we sit down with our friends, flex our vocal cords, we give Iron Man a proper send-off, and have a look at the galaxy's most unreliable news source. We'll be right back. Two to beam up. This Earth has some questionable news headlines. So what do our celebs think was behind the story? Up first, ghosts send naked women. Ghosts send naked, naked women. woman pick. I'm, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna together. go paranormal and like one of those ghost hunter shows and um, they're like, well, let's see what it is. And they, they sent, the, it was a naked woman showed up because you know, there's, you know, why would you have clothes in the afterlife? The girls who pee spoons. Ouch. First of all, the girls who pee it's spoons. It's like a bad Emily Dickinson novel. It's the, the worst Judy speed. Bloom title. Judy ever. Bloom title. These headlines are missing a word. <laughs> Man kills himself and runs away. He, he, the Siamese twins joined at the hip. Uh, he's had enough of his twin, kills him and runs away, but can't. Well, obviously, he was lying about killing himself, uh, but he left a note. Mm. And they were like, Gary never would kill himself and take his running shoes. Satan goes to school. That was just my teacher in high school. He showed up every day. We called him principal, but Satan is probably a better answer. Yeah, I believe that was his license plate, too. My hair talks to ancestors. Well, uh, it, with a shortcut hair, it's a shortcut to being able to talk to your ancestors. And you speak to them in waves and curls and curlicues, but mostly in waves. Flying naked woman steals cop car. Well, <laughs> I used to do a series called T.J. Hooker. And T.J. Hooker would throw himself on the car and ride, getting the bad guy ride on the hood. So this naked lady did the exact opposite. She threw herself on the cop car, on, on the cop car uh, instead of the bad guy and clung there by her fingernails. And, um, and uh, they stopped, and then she stole the car. Oh, boy, this is bad. Snake Star slides off set. All of them befuddle me, but this one is really bad. I have no idea what to do with that one. Because he's hungry. Why did the cow get kicked out of school? Because it was milking. How does the CA say hello by waving? All right. Kids, don't quit your day jobs. Anybody out there who wants to see Blaze... Who's this guy? It's Blaze and the Monster Machines. Or go to Comic-Con Africa should do it. Just get there super fast. Let's Blaze! I, I love Blaze. I have two boys, and they're both uh, remarkably stupid because they didn't have Blaze when they were growing up. And uh, kids of this generation, they have a, this great educational show. It's fun to see these kid, little kids with their T-shirts running around. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's very, uh, it's probably one of, of all the puerile, ridiculous things I've done, this is not one of them. This is, uh, is a really uh, touching show and, and rewarding. So uh, that wasn't a tear, by the way, just itchy. I love you 3,000. The reason why I love Iron Man is because he's intelligent. He's got so much resources. It's not really the money. It's all the tech that he has. It's incredibly awesome. And it, it's something to aspire to, to be driven and to get what you want out of life. I love you 3,000, Brits. You want to know why I love Tony Stark? Because he's a billionaire playboy philanthropist. I love you 3,000. Actually, when he met up with his father in Endgame and had that moment where his father didn't know it was him, uh, I think that hit me the most because I'm a very family oriented guy and I think that hit me the best. I love you 3000. I have them. You have them. Everybody needs them. So no one told you life was gonna be this way. Something, something. It's like you're always stuck in second gear. But it's gonna I'll be there for you. No feet on the couch.
I'm so happy that the friend's couch is here. We've been waiting in line for so long. It's just amazing to sit on the couch. I mean, we need friends. Oh, well, it's so much fun to have the couch here at Comic Con because it's such an icon in, uh, item from France and it was so cool just to have a photo there. Yeah, we are 90s chicks. We grew up in the 90s, so <laughs> we love them all, Ross, and all the other boys. Got friends, yeah. so we all can associate. <laughs> we love it so much that we even watch it on Comedy Central. It's my favorite comedy series. It's my favorite TV show. I just, I absolutely love it. Like, uh, it's been on for 25 years. I still watch reruns that I've seen last week and I still laugh my ass off. I watched the show 10 times. It's amazing. I watch it all the time. Friends have been such a big part of our lives for a long time. So uh, my wife went absolutely nuts when she saw it. And uh, yeah, it's one of those things that's never off. Comedy Central has it on the whole time. It's great to see it and feel like you're a little bit a part of it. It was fantastic. My favorite friend scene um, has to be when, uh, I'm not sure, I think it's the second time when Chandler is struggling to break up with Janice and him and Phoebe are in Central Perk and Janice comes in and then he accidentally hits her in the face and everything. That for me was the funniest and my favorite moment. Ross uh, taking the couch up the stairs and his famous pivot line, you gotta love it, yeah. It's Monica where she had the turkey on her head and then Joey came out <laughs> and he screamed. Uh, it's definitely uh, early on when uh, Chandler and Monica started dating, when he accidentally kissed Monica in front of people and then he went out to kiss Rachel and Phoebe as well. Uh, that killed me inside, I just laughed, especially seeing their reactions to him kissing them. I, oh, it was priceless. What are you guys even singing? And I won't take you for granted. I'm in love with the shape of you. I'm in love with your body. Now I put my hands up, play my song, the time flies fly away. My love, there's only you in my life. Da 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 Hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya. Not hang my head like yeah. Karaoke is so good, even our crew couldn't resist. Don't you wish your boyfriend was hot like me? Don't you wish your boyfriend was hot like me? Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I like to move it, move it. I like to move it. Earth 26618 is a great version of Earth. I got to meet the captain of all captain and take a picture of him. With me there looking great. And not only that, he got to sign this beautiful picture of the captain himself and he initialized and wrote my name. Should I leave and beam up back home? I think I'll stay. Because what better way to celebrate this new friendship than being on the official friend's couch? So I'm staying. <laughs> and then we got all serious. All of us are Batman. We all wear the mask. I feel that Bruce Wayne, or the, the character of Batman, is one of the greatest characters in literature, period. The thing that I was drawn to was the fact that a boy um, suffered trauma and the, the most horrific loss that a child could ever uh, experience. And he used that to propel himself to greatness. And he is one decision away from being on the other side of the law. And he chooses every day to be on the right side of it. And that's a story that everybody needs to hear. I, I've been to South Africa a couple of times, three, four times. Uh, last time I was here was like a year or two ago, went to Cape Town. I had an experience in Cape Town that I, I ought to tell you about um, going back and forth location filming in a big old limousine and a driver, all very Hollywood. And I were passing by the townships, but I wanted to see the township, so I asked the driver to drive me inside one of the roads. He was reluctant to do that, but I insisted. When I got inside the township, I had a, an immediate feeling of peace. I couldn't quite understand what was happening, so I said to the driver, what am I feeling? And he said, we call it Ubuntu, your humanity. And I went home with the terminology Ubuntu to, to uh, the States, and I started another charity. I, I run a couple of charities, but I started another charity based on uh, uh, public media 
so that you would tweet. We, we, we were tweeting people in need. So <clears throat> we would vet a person in need, say in uh, uh, Johannesburg, who had a truck that needed some tires, something as common as that. Because what we're missing is in these cities, we miss the neighbor who would, the neighbors who would put up the, uh, the barn that burned down. So if somebody had some hardship, they could depend on the friends and neighbors around them. But in a city, you don't have that. So what about Ubuntu on the uh, social media, whereby somebody says, I need four tires on a truck. This actually happened. And we publicized a company that gave this tr person four tires, and everybody was happy. The person got the tires, the company got the publicity, and uh, we had the joy of, of helping somebody out of a hardship.